What's up guys, this is going to be a bit of a different video today, but I want to talk about NURBS modeling. Um, I made a video recently, the mesh machine one with the offset cut, I briefly showed Moy, and I think a lot of people either don't know about CAD or NURBS based software. Um, yeah, I'm sure some of you have heard of like Fusion 360, this is Moy 3D, plenty of softwares out there. And a lot of people also use Blender. I use Blender most of the time. I'm not going to be switching to software like this on the channel. Don't worry. Blender is actually um, way more preferable for me over softwares like this. I just want to show you some of the uh, pros and cons. So in Blender, we have the concept of polygons, right? We have our faces, we have our edges, and we have our vertices. And, you know, I subdivide. And the amount of smoothness, you know, how smooth this thing is, is based on how many polygons we have. The more I increase it, the smoother it gets. And this is kind of how polygons work. Everything is defined by these faces, edges, and vertices, basically. Now, in a CAD software like Moi 3D, I really love this software, by the way. So anyone looking to get into uh, more modeling softwares like this, I'd recommend Moi. It's really good. You could use Fusion 360 as well. But um, the difference between a poly-based software like Blender or Maya, for example, and a NURBS-based software is that NURBS software has no concept of polygons. It's all defined by mathematics. It's a mathematical equation that defines whatever this object is, which is interesting, you know? It's, it, it's quite a bit different because in here, there is no, it's infinite resolution is, I guess the best way to put it. Let me show you something pretty cool. What I mean by infinite resolution is, say I'm in Blender, and let me, let's move this out of the way. Let me add in a curve, for example. We'll do like a path right here. And you're gonna see we have a curve. And if I zoom in, eventually it's going to get kind of jaggedy. Notice how it's like there's clear stepping issues going on. If you really zoom in, you can start to really notice that. Um, and that's just because poly-based software doesn't have the concept of infinite resolution. If I want to increase the resolution, I have to keep ramping up the poly count. And eventually, once you ramp it up too much, the system crashes because there's too many polygons. In a NURB software like this, it's infinite resolution. So watch what happens if I were to add in, um, let me do like a, a free form or something. So check this out. I run like a little curve like this, right? And I zoom in more, right? And I zoom in more. I can zoom into infinity and it retains this resolution. It has infinite resolution no matter how far I move in this thing is never going to start getting jagged because it's defined by a mathematical equation. And that's what's awesome because look, after I start zooming out, you don't even notice these pieces really exist. This is what I mean by infinite resolution. It's kind of like the um, like a fractal or something. It's pretty cool. But the power of this is we don't have to deal with things like shading issues, artifacts, whatever, because the Booleans, the Booleans don't care about polygons. They don't exist. It's all defined by mathematics. So what would happen if I went in here and I ran a boolean. We'll do um, select this. We're going to go to construct boolean, and we're going to do a merge. Basically, divide this. There we go. We have a nice boolean cut through here, with absolutely no shading issues. Likewise, we just run a fillet. Make this pretty tiny. Whatever you want to do, you're going to see. There's no shading issues because there's no polygons to define such shading issues. It's just, it's not a thing. So I could run as many booleans theoretically as I wanted and as many bevels as I wanted. And it's not going to get to the point where it's just impossible to work with. Like I could run a boolean here. We'll go in here and extrude it. This one will use a difference. And then we have that. A little bit finicky moving around, but it's all right. And we'll do like 0 0.01. And then you know what I could do? I could do the same thing back here. And then I could go even smaller. I could do like a really, really tiny Boolean cut. It's going to be really difficult to work with, but. And then I try to run a bevel here. 
And now I just put in the radius size, so we'll do like 0.001. We're gonna have a really tiny bevel. And you can think, this is what I mean by infinite resolution. Technically, I could keep zooming in on this, running a Boolean, zooming in, running the Boolean, and the more I zoom in and run these Booleans and bevels, the lower this, this fillet amount is gonna be. You know, it's gonna be 0.001, I zoom in some more, it's gonna be 0 0.00001, and numbers are infinite, so this could go on in infinitely, really. And this is what I mean by infinite resolution, because this is not defined by polygons, it's defined by math. And in Blender, what would happen if I try to do something like this, let's just go ahead and do something. Let's hop in here, let's run a sphere. Even if I have, oh, I forgot I had this one, but even if I have a really dense, uh, and I mean really, really dense object here, there's gonna be a point where if I zoom in far enough, this square is gonna be just a massive. Imagine this is like some microscopic creature in here. This is going to be a really big area, this square, compared to what we might perceive as a pretty small area. So, you know, no matter if I keep zooming in, eventually I'm going to have to keep increasing the subdiv level. So I'd have to, like, do Control-1 again and divide it even more. And there's going to be a point where the software just crashes because once you get into the millions of triangles, uh, Blender just can't handle it. Even on an expensive machine, it's going to crash. And this is like the real power of a software like this because there's no polygons. And that's kind of what I wanted to show in this video is that there are particular situations where this is much better. And most of the time, Blender is just way more versatile for me. I much prefer to use Blender. But there are situations in which you might want to use bevels and just complex booleans and things like that to get detail that you otherwise can't achieve in polygon software, it's just not possible. So it's just a completely different type of, I, I guess, way to perceive 3D modeling because these are just two very different softwares with very different ways of defining a surface. And that's what I think is really cool about softwares like this. Now, I'm gonna stick with Blender in, on my channel because Blender uh, is just, in my opinion, way better in terms of a NURB software like this. A lot more I can do, rendering engine built in, um, I can do nodes, I can do all my modeling directly in there, I have add-ons to assist me, it's just, there's not enough of a reason for me to go pure NURBS workflow, just because I prefer polymodeling way more. I just wanted to show that there's a lot more beyond polymodeling that you can do, and I still use it, like sometimes I'm modeling in Moi just for fun, because it's such a satisfying experience to be able to run bevels and booleans like this, without having to worry about all the BS that uh, comes with polygons and nasty shading issues and sub D and all that type of stuff. So just a bit of a different way of thinking about it. I thought you guys would be interested. And that's about it for today's video. If you want to see more, more uh, Moi 3D content, let me know. I'm not going to do this as like a permanent thing, but maybe here and there I'll drop a Moi 3D tutorial because it's really easy to use. You can learn the software in a day or two. I mean, at least I did. It's all the same stuff. So. That's about it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. See ya.